Hi everyone, this video is for those of you out there like me who use rubrics in Canvas to do your grading. Now you may have run into this situation as I have several times in which I have some rubric like this one, in which I have several criteria. And as I've developed the rubric and I've tested it out, used it a few times, I realized, you know what, I need another criteria and somewhere in the middle here. In this case, you can say I have one through 10, but Oops, I left out criterion three that should go between two and four. Now, there's a couple of ways to fix that just using the functionality of uh, Canvas that's built in. And one, uh, the, the, the quickest way is just to add the criterion at the bottom. You can do that simply by just copying one of the other ones, and editing it, we'll edit it to be three instead of 10. And then again, the quickest way is once you've done that is to then copy uh, four, five, six, and down to 10 after three, and then delete the original ones, which seems a little bit excessive and inefficient. The other way is just to throw it out completely and start over, which is even less efficient. So I did some searching and found out there's a tool and here's how I found it. I'll show you, go into Google and I say, and I actually have the search saved right here, Canvas rubric reorder criteria, I put that in and boom, first link that comes up is the page on the Canvas uh, community page rather that shares um, how that can be solved using a tool posted by James Jones. And here's the link in the post to James Jones's tool. And so I wanna show you with this video how to use his tool and what to expect from it because I installed it a couple of times and at first I thought it was not working even though it was and thought other people might run into the same thing. So let me show you what you do. It is this quick install, it's just these two steps and even one of them is a little bit surprising. So the first thing is to install the Tamper Monkey extension which will work on Chrome, which I'm using now. I've also used it on Firefox and it works there as well. It may work on other browsers like Safari, uh, etc. But I'm not sure about that. You'd have to check that out on your own if you use a different browser. Anyhow, again, this is Chrome. So I click that link to install Tamper Monkey. It takes me here to this page where I can download Tamper Monkey and then add it to Chrome and say okay to add the extension. I do not want to turn on sync because I have multiple accounts here but that's up to you. I will then pin it so we can see the status icon here for Tamper Monkey. And then we're done with that part. So we can close these tabs. Uh, in this window, this tab rather, we'll go back to James Jones's page where he has the instructions. We'll do install step two which is to install the sort rubric users JavaScript file. And this is one of the steps where it works without providing any confirmation that it worked. But as fast as that little flash happens, it's installed. So once we've done that, we go back to the rubric and the way that the script works with Tamper Monkey is it automatically detects once we're in a rubric and we're editing it. So if you read his instructions more carefully, you'll see that it automatically detects a few things and it will run itself without being prompted. One is the URL. If your Canvas page like ours is, it's hosted at instructure.com. So I'm at either the University of North Carolina at Greensboro, UNCG, um, on instructure.com, that's the first check. Then it will look for the rest as courses. Any course number works here. So this happens to be my course number that I'm using. Courses, any course number, rubrics, slash the number corresponding to any rubric. And if it's in the edit mode, that will work. Except one thing. Now you'll see nothing's happening yet. And that's because I had the rubric opened when I installed it. So if you happen to end up in that situation, it's very easy to work around. Just get out of the edit mode. You can hit update or cancel, whichever. Go back to rubrics. 
to your main rubrics page, come back to the rubric you want to modify, then hit edit and you'll see here the tamper monkey icon changed. It was previously gray, now it's black and white and it has a number one saying that the script has run once. It is working now, even though it might not seem like it, you can't click these, these don't highlight, the criteria don't highlight when you click on them. Nevertheless, if you wanna move this one, just click it and drag it and it will move up. Oops. Put it right there where I want it. I can move other ones around too, if I want to. And that is about it. So I hope you find this video helpful. I will post the link to James Jones's page directly into my description so you don't have to search for it. And I'm happy to answer any other questions you post in, your, in the comments. Thank you for watching my video.